Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build and use the Mob Crusher, uh, which is a device from the Industrial Foregoing mod that allows you to convert animals and mobs into fluid essence. Now if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so a couple things we're going to need here. First thing is going to be the mob crusher itself, and that is going to be two pieces of plastic, an iron sword, two books, a machine case, two iron gear, and a piece of redstone. You're also going to need a tank. I'm going to use a singularity tank for this one, although any fluid tank will work, including the black hole tank. Uh, for one of these, though, you're just going to use four iron ingots and five pieces of glass. Now, the third component we're going to use is going to be a range add-on, which in the Industrial Foregoing mod, it's how you increase the range or area of effect of the machine that you're using. This recipe here is for a Tier 1 or Plus 1, and that is going to be six pieces of cobblestone, two plastic, and a glass pane. Now, as you can see here in the JEI, I've already done a search. There's the Plus 1. That's the one we were just looking at. There's also a 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 12. The center pieces, two pieces of plastic and a glass pane, those are the same on all of them. But the difference is what you add on the outside. So as you see here, if I added six lapis instead of the cobblestone, I would get a plus two. If I did six iron ingots, I would get a plus eight. This is great to know because you don't have to create the lower leveled ones to make the larger. This isn't like a lot of the other components you'll find in Minecraft. you got to make the first one, convert it to the second, to the third, to the fourth. You can jump right to the top one, which is a 12, if you have six emerald, two plastic, and a glass pane. Uh, and that's which one we're going to use today, but I did want to show you all of those. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our components for today's build. Grab those. That, that. We're also going to be using some fluid extraction cables from the cyclic mod. If you're unfamiliar with those, uh, I do have a tutorial for how to use cyclic cables listed on my channel as well. Now, the mob crusher is going to need RF power. So here I have a battery uh, and an energy extraction cable, also one of the cables from cyclic. Um, any RF power source will work generator, reactors, anything that you'd like. Uh, for this purpose, I just have power running to this battery and then the power is coming out. Now, when you set down your mob crusher, see this side's got a gray kind of spinny thing to it. That's the front. That's what's going to eat up all of the things you put in front of it. And when you set the block down, it's going to be opposite you. So if I want the front to be that side, I'm going to place it down over here. You can see now the front of there. So it will face the same direction you're facing when you place it down. You can, if you'd like, use one of the many wrenches in uh, Sky Factory 4 to just spin it. But if you want to put it down right the first time, that's how you uh, set that down. So we click at the block itself. As you can see, it's now getting the power that it needs. You see down here, it's always active. You can toggle that to active on redstone signal, active without redstone signal, or always active if you'd like. And you can click this here to see show working area. So as you can see, it's showing right now one block automatically. Okay, See that the height of it's always the same regardless of the range add-on you put on. We're going to go in there and we're going to add that plus 12 range add-on to one of these slots in the right. And now as you can see, the box is much larger. Same height, but now it's 12 by 12. Okay, So anything that walks in this area other than you, any animals or mobs, this machine is going to kill it, and it's going to convert that into a product. And the product it converts it into is fluid essence. I've had several people ask how to get the fluid essence. This is really the easiest way to do it. Um, and it's easy to automate as well. You could set one of these things just facing into your uh, mob farm, and everything that pops up will just be eaten into it. Okay? So, go ahead and turn off the little working area there. So we'll see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop down some cows. And you'll notice as I'm dropping them, they're dying almost immediately. So the mob crusher does kill things very quickly. Um, now, 
if you're dropping much harder to kill things, it is possible it may take a few extra minutes or a few extra hits, but most items will die within just one to two hits of what would be, say, you with the Supremium Sword is kind of the same level of strength that this is doing. So as I'm throwing these cows down and it's eating them up, it's producing, right here, fluid essence. It's also gathering items from the things that drop. So we have leather and we have raw beef, right? Leather, raw beef. So I could take those out if I wanted to. I could put an item extraction cable on the side, pulling those items into a storage of some sort, or I can come in here and empty it as I'd like. To get the fluid essence, you've got two options as well. You can set a bucket right up here. We'll grab one of those. Let's see here. Grab ourselves a bucket. That's not a bucket. That is a bucket. Set a bucket in there. And when there is enough, you can see it has 600 mil buckets. When it has 1,000, it will fill that bucket. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll drop a few cows down. You'll see it will hit multiple things at once. you see there are a bunch of them are dying all at the same time. There's a bunch of cows. And you can see now there's enough. So now we have an essence bucket. Now, if you don't want to sit here and keep messing with throwing buckets in there, that's where our, our fluid extraction cable is going to come in handy with this right here. So you can put a singularity tank down. Any of the different tanks will work. Uh, black hole tank is a great one because it has just massive amount of storage if you want to set this and run automatically. But now I'm going to go ahead and drop some zombies down. You'll notice that they're dying before even the sunlight can kill them. And all of the essence that it's making, or it's gathering from that, is going into this tank. So you see, it, it kills things very, very quickly. And you'll see that I also got some rotten flesh, some iron ingots, and grave dust. So still the same type of things you might expect to find in a mob farm. So using this instead of spikes or something like that gives you the bonus of not only getting the items that drop, but it also gives you the options of using the or gaining the fluid from it, the fluid essence. So that'd be an easy way to automate that. Yeah, that's all that this takes. Just a power source, a way to get the fluid out. And if you want, like I said, slap an item extraction cable on the top of the chest. We could probably do that right now. Item extraction cable. We'll grab a chest. Now I grabbed another fluid. That didn't help. <laughs> Let's try that again. Item extraction cable. Much better. Throw a chest on top. As you can see, the items that were inside are now going into the chest. So you can have those feed directly into the storage system of your choice or occasionally empty out the chest manually. So now as I drop things, whether they're cows or zombies, I'm going to be getting more fluid essence. And I'm going to get the byproduct of the animal that, or the monster or animal that it kills inside my little box there. All right. So pretty easy one today, but very, very handy. Again, a lot of people use these in their mob farms specifically instead of the different iron spikes or redstone spikes and things of that nature. Um, if you have a way of converting this fluid essence into regular experience and such, which ways do exist, I have tutorials on that, um, this could be a great way of gathering your experience as well. But definitely a great way of getting fluid essence if that is something that you need. All right. Uh, well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about this or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put that down in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back with you as soon as I can, as well as if you have any suggestions or recommendations for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, you can also come join me on chat. I stream YouTube and a bunch of other games, uh, both, or a bunch of, here on YouTube and Minecraft and such, as well as on Twitch. Uh, on Twitch, my username there is only Draven Gaming. So come on over if you have any questions about Minecraft. Even if I'm not streaming Minecraft, I'm happy to help out if I can. Uh, you can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there you'll find links to my streaming schedule, as well as my socials, links to all my tutorials, videos, the ODG store, and a mess of other stuff. Highly recommend checking that out. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.